I'm Susan Yates, and I'm so glad to have you join me today. I'm a pastor's wife, a mother of five, and a grandmother of 21. Yep, 21. It's great. It's crazy and chaotic, but so much fun. Today we'll be looking at the question, how in the world do we handle sibling rivalry? Today we're hearing from my friend Ashley, who writes, Dear Susan, what are some strategies for encouraging friendships between my various children? I would love for them to be lifelong friends with each other, and I want to start fostering that now. Well, that's a great question, Ashley. And I want to mention, first of all, that sibling rivalry is completely normal. Every family who has more than one child has sibling rivalry. I have recently posted a blog on sibling rivalry, and we have those links right below this video. But just to begin, I wanted just to give you a few tips as you seek to build kids with strong friendships. One of the things that helps the most is if you have two children that are sort of at each other, provide something for them to do where you are not. Kids get along much better if they aren't vying for mom or dad's attention. So send them to bake brownies or out on a treasure hunt or to build something or even to run an errand for you if they're at that age that they're able to do that. And this is particularly helpful in building friendships and blended families to pair up two kids together. One of the things that we did when our children were very small was we played a game of spin the bottle in which we just spun the bottle around and the spinner told the person that it landed on something that she appreciated about that person. And I'll never forget the time when Libby, who was about two at that point, spun the bottle and it landed on her big sister, Allison. And she said, I appreciate Sally because sometimes she lets me get in bed with her at night when I get scared and she doesn't get too mad when I wet it. <laughs> well, we all just loved that. But that began a tradition in our family of playing spin the bottle. Now, as your kids get older, you can simply take turns going around the table and telling the person sitting to your right something that you appreciate about them. It's also a great tradition for birthdays, for mom and dad, we love to be appreciated, and for the children just to give affirmations to whoever's birthday it is. I wanna tell you one thing though, you are going to be working at building sibling friendships for many, many, many years. And it's easy to get really discouraged because you don't see any results. Those two kids that you have been working on to help them like each other still fight like crazy. It's unrealistic to expect results before their later teen years. But you'll begin to see a turnaround, usually by their junior year in high school. Thanks so much for joining me today, and I look forward to your questions coming. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks a bunch.